Hello and welcome to File List in Microsoft Excel. My name is Jeff. I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. Before I toggle over to Excel, I do want to talk about our objective. We basically have a folder of files like this, and we'd like to get them listed into an Excel workbook like this. Okay. Now, the other thing is we don't really want to write any VBA. We don't want to use macros. We don't want to write any complicated formulas. In fact, we just want to point and click. And that's what we're going to do in this video. So the first step is to head to the data tab and go to get data from file from folder. Then we navigate to the folder. In our case, it's budget. And we simply click open. In the resulting preview window, we're going to see a list of files in that folder and in any subfolders. All we need to do now is click load to. In the resulting import data dialog, we simply say table and we can choose a new or existing worksheet and bam, <laughs> there's the file list inside of Excel. Now we can also determine which columns to bring in and which rows to bring in. So if we didn't want everything, we can edit the query, right click and edit. All right, in the resulting Power Query Editor window, here we can choose which columns or rows we want to include. For example, maybe we only want to include Excel files. So if we wanted to remove all other extension types, we could simply select the filter and click OK. And so we have access to many filters. We can filter based on the file name. We can include things that only begin with, does not begin with, end with, does not end with, contains or does not contain. We can also apply filters based on dates. We can also apply filters based on the path. And we can also choose to show other attribute columns. For example, we can click this expand button and we can click OK. And now this opens up many different attributes about each file, which we can either view or provide filters based on these values. In this case, I don't need those expanded attributes, so I'm going to remove that. And in addition to eliminating certain rows, I can also remove columns. So for example, I can remove this column. I can remove this column. I can remove these two columns. And I can remove this column. And now I can close and load and the updated results are returned to Excel. Cool. All right. Hey, Excel user, if you'd like to save some time, be sure to check out the seven time hacks video. This is a collection of seven time saving techniques that every Excel user should know. And that is how we can generate a file list in Microsoft Excel using Power Query instead of VBA code, macros, or complicated formulas. Hopefully this helps. Thanks. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University. 